Hello everyone, how's it going? It is Flies Eye. Welcome back to the video today. I'm going to be explaining the harshest C2. I don't know why I'm making this, you know. Just wanted to make something. Um, that's probably why there's not a video for, uh, what you call it? There's not a video for Sunday. There might, it might be up on Sunday today, but you never know. Anyway, um, today I'm going to be explaining the hardships to YouTube, so, um, if you like this video, make sure to leave a like firstly, and comment what you want to see next as, uh, like a game or a type of video or a commentary or anything, and yeah, let's get started. So, number one is actually naming your channel. So, naming your channel, you can either use a gamer tag, which is what I did, I use a gaming tag, like, on my Xbox account or if you don't have a gamer tag at all it's hard to find a name now this is what well, it's just hard like that's all well it's not really hard unless you have a name in your head or you just don't care so um yeah let's get to the next hardship so, so the next hardship is making videos at high quality so some people don't do this but like most people want their videos at high quality so it's kind of hard trying to get the video that 1080p or 720 and make it look right if you know what I mean like not just having it like so, like not just having it there but like sometimes the settings just there but it's, it's no quality difference it's just the same thing but it's just a setting it's hard to actually get the quality to upscale when it's at 720p or whatever next we have Editing. Editing videos aren't hard. Well, maybe you're good at it unless you're professional, but you know, after a while you get used to editing and making videos entirely, but then you don't want to have to do your videos. You want to do them pretty well, so you want to go edit and stuff and do your best because you don't want it to be horrible. You want people to have a good mind. Like, they, you want people to think good about your channel, so you don't want to, you don't have to edit too well, but you don't have to put effort you have to put as much effort to it as you need in order to get up there next thing we have getting noticed so getting noticed on YouTube is pretty hard as you can see me clearly I'm at like uh 25 now getting noticed is pretty hard I, I thought it was gonna be easier than I thought but it's really hard because Nowadays on YouTube, it's harder because of all the content creators and stuff, especially if you want to pick a content that's very popular like gaming. Like for example, back then I used to have a, a channel where I did unboxings, that used to be more popular because there was not many unboxed, people who do unboxings in the unboxing community, if you know what I mean. But in the gaming community, it's a giant community and basically it's hard to get noticed because there's so many popular gamers. That's what most of YouTube's popularity comes from, I believe, gaming. So, it's just hard to get noticed, unless you do vlogging, but pretty much, even if whatever you do on YouTube, it's hard to get noticed because of all the other people doing what you're doing or just doing videos in general. So, that's another thing. Next is thumbnail making now. Anyone can make a thumbnail, but I'm talking about a decent one, not one too ugly, but not one too good. You know what I mean? Like, you don't want a crappy thumbnail. You want something pretty decent because thumbnails are what catches people's attention in your videos. So, like, some people, they'll leave the thumbnail out of it and just have the video itself in the title. But thumbnails, like, that won't catch the person's eye. Okay, like, I'll show you a picture and example or whatever. Alright, so, you want to have a thumbnail because... Thumb, if you didn't know, thumbnails are pictures on your videos because you want people's attention. When they see your video, you want them to click on it because of the way it looks. It has to be presentable enough for people to care about it or click on it or watch it for a few seconds even if they don't watch it whole. They clicked on it because of the thumbnail and all of that. So, yeah. Next thing we have is the title of your videos. Now your title of your videos, they shouldn't be clickbait. Clickbait basically, you should know what that is. If you don't know what that is, look it up. I'm not going to explain it. But you don't want to clickbait people into watching your videos. You want to have an honest channel. You don't want to be known for a clickbaiter or whatever because you don't want to lose views. 
subscribers or anything. So you want a title that relates to the, a funny title, but also one that relates to what you did. So it can't you can't just take one part of like a phrase and like I almost broke my leg and just put I broke my leg if you know what I mean. Your title has to actually relate to the video or content you're putting out at the time. So yeah, you also need a good title in your videos. Another thing, this isn't really hard, but this is another thing with the Photoshop. You have to know how to decently Photoshop. Not really, but this is something you have to know if you want to get a decent amount of views. Your channel art. Channel art is not really hard, but you want to make one that you just like thumbnails, not too bad, but you know, it doesn't have to be the best. It just has to be has to catch people's attention because they need like it can't be like all depressing stuff. It has to be like colorful, if not colorful, official looking. Something along those lines. It has to catch people's eye. It has to make them want to watch your channel. You have to you know, your channel only has one subscriber. You want your art to look better and more professional. Make people want to come to your channel so you can get a community and an audience to uh, stand on and make videos for in the first place. Next, we have kind of ties into the subscriber thing. Um, getting views. So, YouTube does this thing where if you click on your own video, it gives you a view. But I'm talking about actual views and getting likes also. So, to get a view and a like is pretty not that hard, but you have to get your video noticed in the first place. Like, sometimes your videos won't get noticed as fast. So, it'll take a while. You have to give it a week or so, but you want your videos to have at least a couple of views. So, it doesn't matter. Even if you don't have subscribers, you have to get views and views. So, the more views you have, I guess, like, on a f certain video, the more, like, the higher it ranks up in searching and stuff. So, that's another thing. <laughs> this isn't really hard, but this is something, you, it's hard, it's not hard, but you need to do it right. So, it's kind of hard to do it right because, you know, it's just one of those things where you don't put thought into sometimes, but it's very essential in order to gain views on YouTube. So another thing you need is you're going to need tags. So tags are the things that you put in front of videos unless you're not verified or whatever. Well, I think anyone could put tags on verified or not, but basically when you're going to um post a video or whatever, right? It'll give you the option to put tags. Now what tags do is they don't I don't think they help that much, but they can really help. If you tag your videos right and if, if you pick like certain, sometimes there's sites like or the Chrome extensions or whatever that'll actually help you do so. Like um, Tube Alert, or no, not Tube Alert, uh, Tube Buddy. Yeah, that's it, Tube Buddy. So you need to tag your videos properly in order to get them to rank up a little higher. It's not gonna do much, but eventually, over time, it'll become effective and it'll make your videos easier to search up. So um. Yeah, that that about wraps it up. That's just a quick hardships of you do. You know, if you want a, another video on this or something like that, let me explaining more about this. With then you can give a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.